Design for the Mind, Caring Kind, Pratt Institute, and Cooper Hewitt. Llewellyn Barkin, President and CEO, Caring Kind. The um, interesting thing about Alzheimer's disease is that while it is the most expensive disease and one that is likely to bankrupt the nation if nothing is done to find an effective therapy, um, there's very little attention paid to it versus other diseases. So what we know at Caring Kind is that in the absence of an effective therapy to treat, cure, or stop the progression of this disease, the best therapy is good care. You really just want to keep them happy. Lauren Lee, designer, Dirty Dog. And enjoying every moment of the rest of their life as much as possible. So don't try to correct them, don't try to make them understand reality. So the best thing to do is to go into their reality, which is a new way of thinking. A stuffed dog made of microfiber sponges sits in her lap. I really just wanted to make something emotionally inviting and encouraging uh, and nostalgic, something that they used to enjoy when they had full capabilities and something where it takes the focus off bathing completely and just makes them happy and makes them enjoy the experience they're having. When I found out there was a class that was all about Alzheimer's. Cody Calamayo, designer, door camouflage. I was really intrigued of kind of using the design thinking skills that we apply to other types of problem solving um, and apply it to a really complex, sensitive subject. So the idea is that the product would simply be stuck. She presses a flat panel onto a door, a door handle, then unfolds it to create a shelf lined with framed adhesive. photos. Then you can open it up and suddenly a little world pops down uh, and there's picture frames that when you approach the door now you see a whole different world of color and depth um, and these can simply be slid in and out so the user can change them and then when you need to leave you simply close it back up. Braden Young. I developed a Velcro wallpaper system that kind of plays off the idea of like a carpet tile in terms of it's small and something that can be repeated and then you can kind of apply those things at like a local level or also like an entire wall you can do. A framed photo and a remote control are shown clinging to the wallpaper. So I looked at wallpaper from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and that's how I took kind of their motifs. So this is a story dice. Morgan McInvale, designer, story dice. Kind of a conversation aid game. Um, each one of these six-sided die, uh, you can just place a sticker that is printable on standard Avery sticker sheets on just anyone's home printer. The sides of the wooden blocks are adorned with simple images. So the idea is that if conversation ever kind of comes to a stop and there's a awkward silence or something like that, let's say you're gonna have like jewel, rain, sun. So it could be like my mom got engaged and it rained the whole time when you were camping out in the woods. Like, isn't that a great memory? And then you, that starts a, a different conversation or it starts an imaginary conversation and it doesn't matter. It really is just for the user in the way that they feel best to use it. Sing Yin Liang. Uh, people are scared of uh, looking at themselves in the mirror and then I start to think about uh, how can I solve this problem. Uh, family caregiver, when they use it, it's like a mirror, but they can just like turn the light on and then when the uh, patient with the Alzheimer, when they use it, it becomes the picture frame so that when uh, they won't look at the mirror. Lou Ellen Barkin. We have been really gratified to see some of these incredible um, opportunities that the students have helped us with and we're really hoping to bring some of these into the marketplace. Accessible design for individuals with dementia will make the family situation easier and make caring for them easier, and that's what this is all about. Special thanks to Alex Schwader and Constantin Boyum. Video produced by Chris J. Gauthier with help from Matthew J. Kennedy and Abby Hebein. In conjunction with the exhibition Access Plus Ability, on view December 15, 2017 through September 3, 2018.